Please don't mistake any of my voice cracks as bad logos. I just have one already. As a surfer, I often see plastic in the beach and in the ocean. How many of you have ever been to the beach and seen trash anywhere besides a trash can? Exactly. Every single year, polluted items are killing over a million birds and hundreds of thousands of sea mammals. Around 40% of the lakes in the United States are too polluted to go swimming in or for aquatic life to live in them. Two things that are polluting our oceans are trash and chemicals. Sea animals can get caught in the polluted trash and injure themselves, and they can also easily mistake this trash for food. Trash has many ways to make it into the ocean. People often litter either directly into the ocean or on land, and eventually the waste will make it into the ocean through sewer pipes or wind. Um, majority of the debris comes from dumping, which is large quantities of trash being thrown into the ocean. An another way is radioactivity. Radiation can get to the water through contaminated soil and rain, like traveling from the soil to the ocean. Um, radiation can affect eggs and larvae with bizarre mutations, like as shown, and they're not very easy to adapt to, and they can also affect the food that we eat. And plastic can also be in the food that we eat. Small organisms like plankton eat microplastics, which are less than five millimeters of plastic. And bigger organisms eat, organisms eat plankton and it'll work their way up the food chain. Um, plastic is obviously harmful to the human body. Um, chemicals like diethylhexyl phthalate, which is a carcinogen, can lead to cancer, and consuming plastic can also lead to endocrine disruption, which is another possible route to cancer, and it can lead to developmental problems in children and immune system suppression. Waste is all over the surface as well as deep below the surface of the ocean, and the trash that floats tends to form into large patches that float in the current. They're pulled together by rotating ocean currents called gyres. Uh, they create large patches, like for example, this is the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, which is 617,763 miles long. The Great Pacific Garbage Patch is the largest of five major patches in the ocean. And garbage patches are kind of hard to study because they're far out in like the middle of the ocean where nobody really goes. Um, but they are a predator to wildlife at sea. The three main ways that scientists know patches can hurt wildlife at sea is that marine animals can get caught, they can eat it, and they can, it can like, once they're caught, it can like transport them to like, through the ocean and it can create an invasive species. Um, the amount of pollution in the ocean has gone too far and as a society, we should all come together to stop this nonsense. Some of the cleanups in the ocean are kind of impossible because it's below the surface. And there are plenty of companies like 4Ocean that are helping to stop the problem. 4Ocean is a company that sells bracelets and for all their profits helps to picking up trash in the ocean. And the founders of 4Ocean are two surfers that took a trip to Bali, Indonesia, which has pretty amazing waves, but it also has like a lot of trash. And changing society's use of plastic is gonna be very economically challenging, but a 2018 report from the United Nations claims that there are over 60 countries worldwide that are changing their regulation on disposable plastic use. Um, one is the Marine Protection Research and Sanctuaries Act, which is also known as the Ocean Dumping Act. This uh, prohibits any dumping of trash on U.S. territories um, by any vessel. And the Beach Act of 2000 enforces that Great Lakes and marine coastal waters are san sanitary enough for any form of water contact activities. Hopefully these acts can help to make a change in the disgusting amount of marine pollution across the globe. Um, the amount of pollution in the ocean is kind of sickening. Like we saw all these pictures of turtles being suffocated and stuff. So that's
let's knock it off and save the whale list.